Right now, Georgia emergency management officials are preparing for Helene. 11 Alive's Joe Ripley is live for us at GEMA headquarters, where just minutes ago we got an update on the storm. So, Joe, what are you learning? Prepare now, Jonathan. That is GEMA's warning before Helene eventually strengthens, makes landfall, and heads towards Georgia. We heard within the last hour from GEMA director Chris Stallings, who announced officially Georgia, the entire state, is under a state of emergency. So how can you prepare at home if you're watching this? Well, Stallings suggests having an emergency kit ready with the essentials, thinking non-perishable food items, water, flashlights, and first aid supplies. Enough for at least 72 hours, he says. Stalling said GEMA anticipates widespread power outages from downed trees and power lines. He does expect Helene to bring heavy rain and strong winds with it. This storm is going to move much quicker, he says, than Hurricane Debbie, which hit South Georgia hard last month. If you remember that one, one person died in that storm after a tree fell on their home as Debbie moved through. Stalling says the state is ready to mobilize resources as necessary due to the widespread nature of this storm. I don't think there's anywhere in the state that's not going to experience some type of impact. I mean, this is one of those rare instances where I believe all 159 counties will receive some type of impact. And as part of this state of emergency, this allows resources within the state of Georgia to mobilize quickly should they be necessary. It is anticipated this storm is going to have widespread impact. Also, state of emergency allows up to 500 guardsmen and women here in Georgia to respond to affected areas. Be prepared to shelter in place if necessary. We're live at GEMA headquarters in Atlanta. Joe Ripley, 11 Alive News. All right, Joe, thanks for that.